Hashem la Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem and Fakwa Das. Respectfully, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I write as your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right. And um, as you see from the video clip, I started off with uh, showing a, a, a little uh, military group doing some shooting, you know, and um, that's pretty much what it's going to look like in that day when everything hits the fan, man. You know, especially with uh, America's uh, military being the fact that you can be a, a funny bunny <laughs> or anything that you want to be, man. America's army says be all you can be. And now it's pretty much be anything you can be. That's how it's going to look when you got uh, uh, funny bunnies trying to uh, shoot off. Uh, I guess they're rockets and whatnot, man. But um, back to you people that still having uh, pride, because you still have uh, Jake and, and just a, a, a lot of people out here, man, real comfortable in a state of mind, thinking that they have the greatest, uh, as, as, as DJ Trump likes to quote all the time, we have the greatest uh, uh, armed forces in the world. You know, the, the, that's what those Edomites might say so proudly. You know, though the Lord says in the scriptures, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing in Revelations, it tells you that the Lord would destroy this place in, in, in one hour, you know, in one hour. But the pride of this devil to tell you that they have the greatest military in the world. And, and, and Jake being so naive to, and deceiving themselves to even believe that, man. You know, the only thing that ever made that military great anyway was the fact that Jake was in it. In your Civil Wars, World War I's, World War II's, uh, Vietnam Wars, Desert Storm Wars, Jake was always in that. You know, that's also more... Of a, a, a lot of that, you know, uh, uh, ways that they won wars off the uh, back of Jake, man. You know, but they don't, they don't uh, uh, glorify that. But see, now you can have funny bunnies and anything, but you people still believe in, in this uh, military. But let's get the scriptures, man. Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust and cherish because there are many, you know, trusting in their tanks, you know, their, their air forces the technology, because there's so many, right? Because uh, modern day, you know, Egypt is, is America, man, house of bondage, you know? You know, and stay on those horses, man. You know, we got those Humvees, those, you know, that, that, that major horsepower, man. You know, America got the so-called best of everything, all right? And, and they do, man. You know, they do. But, shit, you got countries like China, you know, they, 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 they right there, Russia, they got some top technology shit as well, too. But let's see on the scriptures, man. Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust and cherish because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, all right? But they look not into the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, okay? You trusted in those horsemen because they seem very strong, man. But how are you going to trust and these so-called strong horsemen, especially these funny bunnies, man, when the scriptures tell you what a double-minded man, James 1 and 8, right? It says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. So here it is. You got funny bunnies out there that don't know if they want to sit down or pee, but you people still want to trust in this military, okay? Now, these other countries, they don't even respect that, man. You know, countries like Russia, countries like Iran, you know, or places like that, you know, they have. They don't even respect that man. From youth, they're they're raising their um, they're they're raising their uh, their young men, all right, to be warriors. Okay, so knowing that America now allows you know nasty people in there, man, giving them all kind of rights, man, you know that that that's a definitely a sign of war. Those are signs of war, and and those are signs of you know the beast being weakened, man. All right, this whole system being weakened, man. All right. America looking real vulnerable, man. You think they out there shooting missiles in the in the ocean for uh for fun? You think they're make making miss, miss, uh, missiles and marching in parades because this for for leisure? You're not gonna make something and not want to eventually use it. <laughs> hey, these other countries, hey, and and that's all in the scriptures, man, about how this place is gonna go down, man. That all plays a part in America falling in that one hour, man. All right, but um. And, and, and the scripture said, but seek, let me, let me, let me go back to that, the, the latter in Isaiah 31 
and the latter end it says, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. People ain't minds ain't on Yahweh Shai Mashiach, man. Because they, they're too busy living their lives, man. Neither seek the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, man. All right, people ain't, ain't been seeking the Lord like they should have. I should say seek the Lord ten times more. You know, the Lord pretty much through the Spirit, the Lord had the world on, on, on standstill, man. Still has the world on standstill. But you people are still getting comfortable in the middle of, of Esau just setting this trap. In the middle of this devil's uh, scandemic, man. You people are still comfortable. Still didn't take time out to uh, seek the Lord properly, man. All right? And, and, and it's starting to show, man. And it's been showing, man. But, hey, at the end of the day, the scriptures say, woe unto them, man. All right, and that woe means death, destruction, you know, and you're gonna and you're gonna get that, man, you know. But I just want to, you know, do a, just do a just a quick little video on 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 that, and um, just a quick one on the ghost of Abarachazai. This quick little video was um was good and edifying. So I want to close by saying, Call her lion, lie, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and talk with Dash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders there at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.